through on the framing here. This is where the galley or kitchen would be. I'll be able to see out when I'm standing here over each cabinet. Starting on the inside, I did the two inch foam insulation. It's got foil on both sides. It is rated for R13. So that's the whole reasoning I did two inch studs. Ripped all a bunch of two by six down to two inch studs just so I could use this insulation. Doing the tin on the roof, and we'll be doing one by six tongue and groove blue pine for the walls and laminate on the flooring. Today, we're going to be building cabinets finally for the camper build inside. I have all the tongue and groove pine installed and the windows trimmed. Making progress on the camper. I have the floor installed. Most of the tongue and groove and trim is done. I'm working on getting the homemade windows in. I just got to trim them out. Made a couple of cabinets. They need to get installed in these two corners. The exterior is finished now, except for varnish. A little round window that came out of a 1935 wooden sailboat, opens from the inside. All the exterior wood is reclaimed from various other projects. Some is barn wood. Some is old trim off a house. The metal is actually the only thing that's new on the outside. I sprayed it with muriatic acid to make it look old. Simple, just a couple cabinets at the beginning, and then 
a bed on each side. There's about a foot of space in between. I did it that way. Um, so we can each get out of bed in the middle of the night if we need to or, in, or move around without crawling over each other. I hate RVs and campers that you have to crawl over to get out. So we got standing headroom in the middle. We can both get in and out of bed easy. Lots of storage underneath the bed. Cabinets are simple. I did have some nice pieces of quilted maple that I use for the drawer fronts and the doors. Did nice stout drawers and drawer slides. They are a soft close slide, which actually keeps the drawers pulled shut. So I don't have to have any catches or anything on them. They stay shut just fine. Which block countertops. I did build the cabinets to fit in here specifically. Nothing's store-bought as far as the woodwork goes. Just a bar top style sink. It's one I actually had. Made that work. Did some simple fluorescent lighting. I'll probably add some more lighting still. 50 gallon water tank. So plenty of water. Uh, we did six inch memory foam, which is more than enough, very comfortable. I still need to do a piece of trim on the wiring coming in from the solar panels. I left it like this instead of burying it in the walls so I can get to it. Um, I'm just gonna put a piece of trim over that. That way I can access it if I decide I need to change anything. Real simple. Fuse panel, charge controller monitoring. Bought these bins. That's my homemade door and a working port light off an old wooden boat. So I can see out the back. For my cooler, I kept it outside for right now. Um, I've got plenty of power to do a little fridge in here. So I just have a lid and then a decent cooler with some extra foam around it. And that keeps ice for a week easy. I have a couple solar lights. I, they're just fence lights off Amazon I installed on here. So we have porch lights. I installed these hooks for a tarp off the side so I can just hang a tarp off both sides um, for shade. Also have this board that's attached under here. It actually just comes off real easy and plugs in to these. And I got a table on the side of the truck in case there's go to a camping area with no picnic table. Another exterior light. And then it's just on the old Dodge one ton, 12 valve Cummins. The total cost, since I had some of the materials, um, bought some of the framing, solar panels, the windows, some of the metal I bought, just miscellaneous things. But I had some of the wood, barn wood and a little bit of the hardware. I have about 3000 total into it. If I had to buy everything, I could have done it for about 5,000 bucks. Alrighty, there's my camper build video. Thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you next time. Bye.